Bedbug, Batman villain. Gotham City is home to a versatile set of villains. Clowns, cats, crocodiles, serial killers, pigs interested in science, you name it, they have it. So the existence of a guy who lives amidst the bugs and then uses them to control the people as his puppets does not come off as a surprise. What does surprise us is the fact that this very guy, Bedbug, can control the greatest of the Gotham City villains, giving him access to anything and everything. The spotlight shines on him from the 17th to the 20th issue of Batman, Streets of Gotham. However, despite a stellar run of events and Bedbug solidifying himself as a terrific horror-based villain, he leaves the center stage to lay low for a while and never really makes his return. All the while, the readers know that he has a trick up his sleeve that can destroy Gotham. But before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a whole lot. So thank you, and let's begin. Bedbug. Backstory explored. Batman is no stranger to going against villains who seem like they have come straight out of a horror movie. Characters such as Scarecrow, Solomon Grundy, Victor Zaz, and Killer Croc fit right into the roster, and yet Bedbug is the one villain who is often overlooked but more dangerous than all of them. If you're confused about why and how a not so popular villain can instill more fear than its notoriously famous peers, keep watching this video. Created by Paul Dini, Bedbug made his first appearance in House of Hush, where Thomas Elliot, that is Bruce Wayne's childhood friend, turned out to be an appalling villain who killed his own parents to inherit their fortune, got plastic surgery to look like Bruce, and tried to retrieve Selina Kyle's heart from her. In his debut, Bedbug was depicted in a severely disgusting manner. He was abnormally thin, gaunt, and had insects, in his case bugs, crawling all over his body. He was covered in bed sores, looked like he never ate or washed himself, and wore a bedsheet for modesty alongside a creepy bug-like helmet. To make things worse, his helmet brimmed with bugs inside of it, making him the most eligible bachelor in Gotham City, even more so than Bruce Wayne himself. Not much was known about him, and he remained mysterious. Bedbug operated by using his bugs to control people, whom he referred to as his sleepers. He then made the sleepers do his bidding as the bugs infected their minds while they were asleep. Generally, he would get them to commit acts of robbery while they were asleep, but when the victim woke up, they would have no knowledge of their previous actions. His actions posed big problems to Batman and Catwoman in the later issues of Batman's Streets of Gotham. He used his bugs to infect Harley Quinn's mind in the 17th issue of the comic series. The way he communicated with Harley was almost like an intrusive thought that made Harley do his bidding, all while believing that she was just dreaming. Around this time, she had gone straight, so it was not like Harley would commit crimes consciously. Under Bedbug's influence, she drove down to a safe and tried to nuke it with a missile. Catwoman reached the spot right on time and tried to stop her, but Harley attacked Selina Kyle. Soon, Batman swooped in from above and took care of the situation like he always does. Around this time also, Bruce Wayne was supposedly off the grid and Dick Grayson operated as Batman. So Selina thought that it was Grayson as she tried to explain Harley's strange situation. However, Batman soon revealed that he was not Dick Grayson. Instead, he was Bruce Wayne. While the two shared a passionate kiss, Bedbug lay in his disgusting room, which was the pinnacle of home furnishing. He could sense that Harley Quinn was no longer one of his sleepers, which obviously disappointed him, but was fine since he had no shortage of such sleepers. He had no shortage of insects either. Meanwhile, Bruce informed Selina about zombies be like sleepwalkers stealing things all over Gotham City as a result of being mind controlled by bugs. Mass looting began to take place in the 18th issue of the series after Bedbug used several of his sleepers to act as his pawns. The Gotham City Police Department and Batman thought of the gatherings as a flash mob at first, but no one anticipated the insane loot that would eventually take place. While the majority flocked to the center as a distraction, other smaller 
smaller sections of the crowd robbed whatever they could. As Bruce Wayne patrolled the city, he got a look at the Penguin who had become one of the many mindless sleeper agents. At the same time, Bruce had figured out how Bedbug was transmitting his messages to the bugs, so he met up with Commissioner Gordon to proceed with his counter plan. Gordon had a sound system that the GCPD had bought. Using that system, Bruce Wayne countered the radio frequency Bedbug was using to control the bugs and by extension, the sleepers. After Batman played a silent noise, everyone woke up as the bugs were killed. Blood spilt out from their eyes and the places that the bed bugs had used as a leeway to crawl into. Paramedics were called and their injuries were taken care of. Needless to say, the injury the bed bugs had left on the necks were as disgusting as their puppeteer. Okay, maybe not that much, but still. Soon, Batman left the search for bed bug and found success soon enough. But the villain's erratic flea-like movements caught him off guard while giving off the impression that bed bug had a very detailed understanding of insects, which was true. Batman chased him onto a rooftop, but bed bug proclaimed how the former had already he lost. He had staged the mass looting as a small display of his power, which was quite believable since he was able to control people like Harley Quinn and the Penguin. Bedbug knew that Batman would be able to counter his recent antic, but the fact that Bedbug had infected everyone in Gotham City gave him the ultimate victory. While his potential victims remained oblivious to the fact that they were infected, Bedbug reveled in the thought that he could call them whenever he wanted to. Batman tried to get to him, but got a hold of his mask instead. Bedbug soon cried out, asking him not to touch the mask and rightfully so as several bugs crawled out from beneath it and swarmed Batman's body. Batman had been infected as well, and Bedbug left the scene in glory. In the 19th issue, Batman and Catwoman headed to a place that was believed to be a hideout used by Hush. As she learned more of a past story that revolved around the Waynes, Judson Pierce, and the Hellfern, she later kissed Bruce Wayne after a romantic exchange of words. While the two made out, they were spotted from afar by Bedbug, who found the revelation of the Dark Knight's secretive relationship to be quite interesting. He broke up the romantic moment soon enough by setting off an experiment explosion, causing Batman and Catwoman to flee for their safety. Bruce realized that Bedbug was watching them and had been spying on them with the help of his sleepers. Soon the duo was cornered and attacked by some GCPD officers, who were obviously being controlled by Bedbug. Batman knew better than anyone the villain was obsessed with what he was doing and that this was just the beginning. Bruce managed to take the cops out and soon after, some regular cops showed up in cop cars. Catwoman took it as her invitation to leave as the cops were still liable to take shots at her, so she believed that Batman should be the only one to deal with the situation considering he had a much better relationship with the law and order of Gotham City. Bedbug watched it all go down and noticed how Batman thwarted his plans without much of an effort at all. He said, Batman saw through my trap too easily and using controlled cops in my scheme will only make the police more determined to hunt me down. It's best I lie low give Gotham and Batman time to forget. Only then will Bedbug return to shatter their dreams. And he made his exit. What powers does Bedbug have? Bedbug might come off as nothing but a disgusting guy who controls bugs, but his ability to turn people into his puppets, or rather sleepers, make him one of the most formidable villains ever. He used his insects to infect the minds of the people while they slept and waited for them to latch on to the victim. Following that, he transmitted radio signals to the bugs to make the sleepers commit the necessary crimes, mainly robberies. The sleepers carried out these acts while in a zombie-like sleepwalking state. Meanwhile, they never even had any recollection of their actions after they woke up. He was able to control minds like Harley Quinn and the Penguin. But Batman was ultimately able to thwart it by knocking Harley out and using the radio frequency on the crowd that the Penguin was a part of. However, Bedbug had infected all of Gotham City, including Batman. So in a situation where Batman is under his control alongside some of Gotham City's toughest heroes and villains, there will be no one to stop Bedbug. He can easily control someone who has access to destructive technology and then do whatever he wants to. He could swindle billionaires out of their money without much effort at all and destroy 
destroy Gotham City in the process. He can even take control of several members of the Justice League. What makes Bedbug so much more dangerous is the fact that he is aware of the extent of his abilities and intends to use them to their full potential. Fortunately, Batman is the type of guy who will just stop sleeping to not fall prey to Bedbug. He will then get rid of the bugs infecting him, which he already knows how to do, and proceed with reigning over Bedbug's parade. Marvelous Verdict As someone who exclusively focuses on making his victims rob, Bedbug should really take that money and invest it into uplifting his living situation and attire. But it also is quite evident that Bedbug is not here for the money. He just wants to show the magnitude of his powers. He is the obsessed freak type who does not care so much about wealth or power and instead does what he does just for the sake of it, somewhat kind of like the Joker. But the character being neglected in the future stories of Batman breaks our hearts because fans would surely love a story with Bruce Wayne having his sleepless nights to fight against Bedbug. Hey, if you liked our content for this one, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already, and tune in for the next one because we'll have more similar content, and in the meantime, have a good one and be safe. Thank you everybody.